There. It looks like a nice bit of soil in the farmer's field there. Some very neat furrows they're ploughing. days. Such a shame. Such a shame. I mean, it's not a lot better really. That is somebody's home and stuff in the kitchen. It's like dodgems. Hey? It's like dodgems. Hey, you're right. Hello. I don't think it's that warm. Shallow what on this side? That side. That side. Thank you. Thank you. Anything behind you? Is there anything behind you?
This is an amazing piece of canal actually. If you walk along the towpath and look down to the right, it must be a hundred foot drop down to the, um, the road at the bottom. Incredible. You know, it's hard to get the scale of how far down that is to the valley floor. There's the river running through at the bottom there. And the canal is literally just behind me and it is built into a hillside but it's just incredible and you think all this was done over 200 years ago it's a novel doorbell ding dong right on the canal side this is the Jerk Aqueduct which goes straight into a tunnel at the end. That also is uh, an incredible piece of information about Swifts. It's worth pausing the video to read all of that. Incredible. That's a viaduct that's right next to the aqueduct. What a fantastic view through there. And there's the river flowing through underneath. You can see when that river's in flood how much it, the bank's eroded. It must gush through there like a torrent. And you can see the swifts darting in and out of the bridge. They come back to nest every year. To the aqueduct is a railway viaduct it's got a colony of swifts that nest there every single year Twenty one meters long. Ten minutes at two miles per hour to travel through. Oh, 
right, we're after much of a flaffle. We're going into the tunnel. I thought there was a boat in there to start with. Dodgers, then. This is left permanently up here. Yeah, you don't actually need it for access to it. Oh, no. The post office man has went to go through. Thank you.